happy Monday, guys. All right, so I asked you over on Facebook and Instagram if you guys wanted to see how I make my version of coddle stew. And overwhelmingly, you guys said, Heather, turn on the camera. So I'm turning on the camera, making this because I've got all three kiddos sick with a head cold and Monday nights are Matt's late office nights. So he usually doesn't get home till eight o'clock. So this is something perfect that I can keep um, warm on the stove for him for when he comes home. I plan on making some homemade bread to go with it. Um, and so yeah, this is not traditional. Uh, so I'm not going to be following any recipe. This is just how I make it. Um, we are going to be making it with some bacon sausage that I got from the butcher yesterday. Oh, never seen bacon sausage before, so I'm super excited to use this and try it. I do have homemade stock here. I've got two of the uh, smoked ham stock that we did yet yeah, was it yesterday the day before yesterday together now these aren't from um that time this is actually from june back in june when i made it so i'm using those jars up first and then i have um two jars of onion uh stock that i made which is by far my favorite stock it's just so universal so if you're making a vegetarian dish um you can use that stock so aren't they beautiful they're this beautiful like amber color so all right so that's my stock um, I don't know if I'll need any more than that. If we do, I'll just pull another jar. We're going to have some uh, bacon sausage. I am going to add some onion and a little bit of garlic because my kiddos are sick. I do have seven potatoes with the skin on because that's where all the nutrients are. So I keep my skin on, but you don't have to. And then I also have some leeks. Make sure you quadruple wash those leeks. <laughs> my girlfriend Allison taught me how to wash leeks and I tell you, she wrecked me and my life has never been the same since. So, <laughs> so make sure you uh, quadruple wash those leeks and make sure that uh, they're nice and clean. She showed me a really easy way uh, instead of doing it the difficult way. Um, and then I also have two bunches of green onions in here um, that I'm also going to be using. Um, all right, so I am going to change your battery uh, and then we're going to get started putting this uh, the soup or stew together. It's almost a stew because it gets nice and thick. All right, guys, let's go. All right, I have you gingerly placed <laughs> up on my pan, uh, up on a pot on my stove. So let's hope you guys don't fall. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is get my sausage in the pan. Which I'm going to turn on my heat here. Okay, so I'm going to use this little meat chopper. Um, I think I got this meat chopper at Bed Bath & Beyond. Pretty sure. So, um, I answer that question now because I know I'll get questions on it. I always do every time I use this. It's wonderful. Now that we have the sausage all nice and browned, I'm going to remove it from the pot. And we are gonna saute our onions and our garlic. So now that I have, hopefully you guys can see, I'm so sorry, this is such a bad angle. Um, now that I have browned the sausage, I took it out, I um, got all the little bit of fat that was in there. It actually wasn't very much, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting a lot more with bacon being in that sausage. So now I'm just going to melt up a couple of tablespoons, I think tablespoons of butter I have in here and then I'm going to add a very small Vidalia onion to this let that kind of saute up I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic to this especially today because I have all three kids down with a head cold. <laughs> so, a um, little bit of garlic is going to help them feel better. And we'll pop that in. Okay. And I'm going to get out.
big wooden spoon here. flavor in the bottom as I add the broth will come off and release into the soup. Oh, and it's going to be so good. So, so good. All right, so now that I got that in, now I'm going to add my leeks and my scallions in here. As much of that goodness in here as I can. that kind of sit and saute a little bit. So now that we have the um, onions and the garlic nice and sauteed in here, I am going to add some beer. <laughs> so, we get the bottle opener. And I am adding this, which is honey brown. It's a lager, extra rich. It's going to give this stew such a nice flavor. Of course, we're gonna cook out the alcohol in it, right? And I might actually use a little silicone whisk to do that. And then that begins to come to a boil. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to add the sausage back into it. All of that good sausage out of there. No. Oh. Smells so good. And then I am adding seven russet potatoes with the skin on. You don't have to leave the skin on though if you don't like the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a jar of onion broth. We're gonna add some smoked ham stock. Another quart of onion stock. And then one more quart. So it's two quarts of smoked ham stock and two quarts of onion broth, which is my favorite. You could use a vegetable broth. You could use all ham stock if you wanted to. That is totally up to you. And you can add water if you want. You could use this, you could make this with chicken stock. Do whatever you want. It's your, it's your cattle stew. So I'm going to go ahead and add, well, I don't measure anything. I'm going to add probably a tablespoon of salt, sea salt. I'm going to go ahead and crack some black pepper in this. And honestly, that's it. That is pretty much all I add. Now as this comes to a boil um, and it starts to cook, I'll taste it and I'll tweak it. You know, I'll add a little salt if it needs it. I'll add a little bit more pepper if it needs needs it. You can add gar granulated garlic or granulated onion, but to be honest, I have so much onion and garlic in here. I really don't need that. Um, can I add anything Anything you like. Um, I might add a little home um, dehydrated parsley to this because it'll just be really pretty. So if I had a guess, probably a tablespoon of parsley. And I'm going to bring this to a boil, and then once it comes to a boil, I'm going to put it on low, like a simmer, a low simmer. And I'm just going to let this cook up all day, slowly on the stove. And you could make this in a crock pot. I've made it in a crock pot many, many times. 
Um, and as the potatoes start to cook, if I find that I need more liquid, I will add another jar of either onion stock or ham stock. But this is just one of the many ways I use my stock. <laughs> I do get questioned all the time, how do you use your onion stock? How do you use your smoked ham stock? And this is how I use it. It just, it increases and intensifies the flavor of anything that you make. So um, on this kind of cool, but very humid, muggy, um, rainy, cloudy day here in Northern Michigan, this is gonna make a fantastic So, taste test. Matt is gonna taste test it for us. Some cottle stew with homemade uh, bread. God, it's been so long since I've had it. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've been we've been eating really low carb, so yeah. so this is a this will send us into probably bacon sausage? carb attack. Uh, this has the bacon sausage in it. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Bacon sausage is really tender. Mm, really tender. And then I um, also use the onion stock and smoked ham stock. Mm, I was going to say, it's really <laughs> nice and smoky. It's got to be that smoked ham stock. <laughs> wow. It's got a good smoke taste to it without an overpowering. It's not like, you know, a lot of things claim to be smoked and it's artificial. Right, you right. Know, this is really good. Mm. Good. Potatoes are perfect. Hearty. Potatoes are perfect. Mondays are always his hard day. That's his meeting day. <laughs> All right. The now, broth is nice and light. Now do one thing. Sop some of that bread in with the broth. Because a lot of people are gonna. Lot of Heck people, yeah. A lot of All people right. are gonna want to see the. Mm. The sopping of. <laughs> oh, we're gonna go. <laughs> All the way, fold <laughs> and dunk to the bottom. Wow! And soak for a second. Wow! That's how you soak it. Mmm. <laughs> now that <laughs> is eating stew, baby. That's good, eh? Mmm. Bacon sausage is really good, guys. Better go get more. <laughs> mm. Hot, All right. delicious. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Mmm. That's it. Coddle stew made my way. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video and we're gonna go sit down now and feed the, the kids that are all, all three of them battling a head cold. So. myself. Yeah. <laughs> all right guys, I'll see you later.